Hello friends, it's Jim O'Rear. Welcome back to Jim O'Rear's Wacky World. Today, we are going back into my kitchen for another easy recipe. And this is my first one with a slow cooker. Now, if you follow a lot of my recipe videos, you know I like to make quick, simple, easy meals that, uh, you know, are fairly healthy, not a lot of junk food involved or frying or anything like that. And so today, we have a recipe for your slow cooker for crack chicken. I don't know why they call it crack chicken, I guess, because you just want to keep eating it, maybe? But this is super, super simple. Take a look. Starting with the ingredients, you need two pounds of boneless, skinless chicken thighs, one ounce packet of ranch seasoning mix, 16 ounces of cream cheese, eight slices of bacon, one and a half cups of shredded cheese, and some mashed potatoes. Now you're gonna wanna start out by washing that chicken, and chicken thighs I don't like because it's got all this gunk on it. See that, that gunk that, yeah. So we try to clean that off as best as possible. I know some people just throw it in and cook it the way that it is, but we tend to cut ours off as much as possible. Once you get it cleaned, you wanna go ahead and just take that chicken and put it into the crock pot, make a nice little layer going across the entire bottom of the pot, just like that. So you've got this, this nice thick layer of chicken. Then you're gonna get your ranch seasoning mix, and this is just a salad dressing mix that you will open up and just sprinkle all over the chicken. Just make sure the chicken gets a good coating. And one packet goes a long way. As you can see right here, you can you can coat all that chicken, chicken with one packet of seasoning. After that, you can get out your cream cheese. And this is 16 ounces of cream cheese. And you're gonna take that out. And I cut it into little, little blocks like this. And then I put the little blocks on top of the chicken and ranch seasoning, just like that. So you kinda got it evenly spreaded for it to melt on there. Go ahead and set that cooker on low, cover it up, and you're gonna let it sit for about seven hours. Now, while that's happening, you can fry up those pieces of bacon. Mmm, bacon. So get you some nice crispy bacon going, and then, once you get that, that nice crispy bacon, you wanna take it out, let it cool before you touch it. <laughs> but I shouldn't have to say that. But let it cool and then take it and break it into some little pieces. You're gonna set those little pieces aside. We're gonna deal with those in a little bit once the chicken gets done cooking. Now, seven hours later, after your chicken's been cooking, it's gonna look like this. The chicken's gonna be falling apart. It's gonna be mixed in with the cream cheese. It's gonna be bubbly. And then you're gonna take those pieces of bacon that you broke up earlier, and you're just gonna spread those out over that mixture and just make a nice little layer. Uh, if you're a big bacon fan, you may even wanna make more bacon. Just make a good layer. Then get some shredded cheese. I use a Fiesta blend because that's what I like. You could use cheddar or whatever type of cheese that, that you really like. And then you wanna just do a, a topping of cheese and just spread all that cheese on there. About one and a half cups, two cups, something like that. I use two cups in, in this pot. And then once you've got a nice layer of cheese, cover it up and let it sit so it can start melting. Now, you can make your own mashed potatoes if you want. I went ahead and just got some Bob Evans and popped them in the microwave. They do great. You can also use white rice. White rice is really good underneath this chicken as well. But I was feeling lazy. So I got the microwave Bob Evans, pop it in. And notice it's good creamy. It's made out of, it's made out of real potatoes. And then, after your cheese has melted, it only takes about five, 10 minutes for that cheese to melt on top of there, you are ready to go. You're gonna put you a scoop of mashed potatoes or rice on the plate, get you a scoop of the cracked chicken with the bacon and cheese and put on there, add a little salt and pepper if you want. You can sprinkle some little green onions on the top for a little extra flavor. That's really good as well, and there it is there's the finished product and uh, it's good and simple. There you have it. That is the simple slow cooker recipe 
or crack chicken. You should try it. It's really good. Like I say, a few different ways you can prepare it. You can have it with mashed potatoes. You can have it with rice. You can add some onions to it. A lot of little variations and things uh, to suit your taste. But the basics are right there and they're very, very simple. If you have tried this before, or if you try it based on this video and taste it, come back and leave a comment. Let us know what you think. We would love to read your comments about it. So I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. If you have, click that like button to let the powers that be know that you like the video. And while you're at it, click on follow or subscribe and you'll be notified when I upload new videos. So thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time.